Here's a video on how to create glare in Photoshop. And there's a number of ways you can do it. You can have it very simple or very complicated. Um, in the process, we'll see the simple way and we'll take it the next step to look a little bit more like a lens flare um, and sun glare as well. So with an image open, um, we want to make a new layer and this leave it be layer one. Use the fill tool and make sure your fill is black and click once on the uh, document and you'll have a black box. Now the simple uh, lens flare is under filter, render, lens flare and what comes up by default is usually totally fine um, by default. Uh, notice that you can change the direction of the lens flare just by clicking and dragging in this box here. Now you want to set that up before hitting OK. Um, so if that looks about right to you, um, you know, sometimes you might want a different type of lens uh, emulation here. So they've got those presets. Um, for now I'm just going to choose 50 to 300 millimeter zoom and about 135 from the, uh, coming from the upper left. We'll hit OK. And we've got our basic lens flare. Looks pretty realistic. Um, but the next step here is we want to actually get rid of some of that black and we're going to change the blending mode so that we can incorporate it into our image. So I just switched to eraser, set to 100% opacity. And I'm just going to start erasing some of that lens flare. You can get fairly close to it, but you don't want to remove too much of your lens flare. Mostly just the black there um, is what we're looking to get rid of the extra stuff. So we've done that and it doesn't look very good yet, but um, we'll switch our blending mode to screen and we get a much softer blending effect and switching to my move tool there, I can now position it uh, any place I want on the screen. So we've got our basic lens flare. But you can also, using a couple filters and some duplicate layers, you can create a, a bit more of a dynamic effect. Um, with this layer selected, I'm going to go to Filter and then go to Stylize and choose Wind. Now Wind is like a type of blur, only it's pretty blocky. Um, it gives you this type of effect that we can see here. Um, and you have different variations of that. I think for our case, we're going to choose Blast and hit OK. And just like any filter, you'll find the recent filter at top here. We can just run that again and it'll extend it. And we'll just do that a couple times to get the effect to really get in there. And uh, to lessen the sharpness, we're going to just do Filter Blur and Blur More. And do a combination of these two things, blurring and um, running the, the wind filter a couple times over. Now we've gotten that, we can change its opacity a little bit and uh, duplicate that layer. And using the transform, free transform, I'm going to rotate it, position it on top of there. And now that they're together, we can, uh, we can try and adjust the settings so that it looks as realistic as we can get it. And I, sh I should also mention, when, you're, when you've got your selection tool here, you should check both uh, Auto Select Layer, Auto Select Groups, and Show Transform Controls, because that allows you just to sort of pick out the layers you want to work with, instead of having to hunt them down in the layers palette. So there we go, we've got our basic uh, lens flare. We'll just select the background layer and making sure that uh, artifacts such as this one across the nose uh, are removed. You can erase that and just sort of soften everything up and get our basic lens flare.